Hi everyone, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here on this Thursday as we take a look at the tropics this morning. We've got Hurricane Gaston, which strengthened a little bit more overnight. Top winds are about 75 miles an hour. You can start to see there's a little bit of an eye forming uh, on the on the edge of the convection. It looks like there's not too much going on on the west side, that most of it's on the north and northeast side, and it's moving north northwestward. You can also see this upper low. Uh, right here out in the Atlantic that's spinning around and has now gained control of this. Uh, it's also going to produce uh, some shearing. You can, uh, watch clouds blow away from the southwest to the northeast. So as the hurricane gets closer to that upper low, there'll probably be a little bit of weakening as some shearing gets involved. But meanwhile, our focus on attention is going to be on System 99L, which uh, continues to chug away. Uh, we saw a flare-up of uh, thunderstorms overnight develop north of Puerto Rico and north, of the, north and over the Dominican Republic. Uh, the issue at the moment is that there is low pressure that has developed, but it seems to be away from where most of the main thunderstorm activity is. Uh, but an Air Force reconnaissance aircraft is going to be investigating this uh, later on today to see if a, a, a well-formed circulation uh, is going to take shape. Uh, there are gales that are being produced uh, just north and northeast of the center, so it isn't a question of the, the, the winds. It's a question of having a well-defined center because once that happens, this thing will be uh, immediately upgraded probably to a tropical storm or at the very least a strong tropical depression. But, you know, there, there are the uh, meteorological technicalities that it has to meet. Now, uh, overnight weather models uh, really didn't change too much. Um, this is the most aggressive of the bunch is the HWRF, which uh, takes the uh, system as a tropical storm Sunday morning and actually moves it right over the Florida Keys and intensifies it. As soon as it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, it intensifies this into a major hurricane as it moves it toward the nor uh, northwest. And... Uh, I've been saying all along that the strength of the upper ridge with all this is going to be the key to the forecast going forward uh, because that upper ridge is actually determining uh, how this is all going to play out. Uh, I'm just going to switch over to the GFDL model just real quick to show you that. Um, I, had, I this, this model used to be very good. I, I kind of use it with mixed results now. Um, it really doesn't develop this very much, maybe into a weak tropical storm as it takes it west-northwestward into the central Gulf. But when we look at all the global models uh, from last night, uh, in, uh, the European um, kind of consistent with its run from yesterday, uh, uh, yesterday's day run, where it shifted everything a little further to the east. Uh, this one has a tropical storm in the Bahamas, moving it over South Florida, um, and then uh, from there it recurves it up along the west coast of Florida, taking it in to the Panhandle. This is almost identical to what it did on the day run, and then it turns it northeastward off the Carolinas and then uh, east, and from there up to Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. So um, uh, certainly within the realm of possibility that this, this could happen. Um, the GFS has a similar idea, but it has a much weaker system, and it never really gets it out. It kind of lingers it along. Um, you know, it, it, it gives the argument that, that the system never really develops, but we'll see what happens. Meantime, when we look at all the global models, what they call the spaghetti plots, uh, you can uh, take a look at those. And, you know, they're pretty well clustered over South Florida and then up the west coast of Florida. A few of them start veering off to the west later in the period, but this does not indicate uh, what kind of intensity we're dealing with, by the way. It's just track. Uh, but most of them seem to be clustered on moving this weather system uh, over South Florida. So um, in, in conclusion with all of this, I guess the next step is going to be to wait and see uh, what the uh, National Hurricane Center uh, and an Air Force Reconnaissance aircraft, what they find later today. Uh, and uh, then we'll start to look at what the day, day model guidance has to show. As of this time, you know, really nothing much has changed uh, since what we were talking about yesterday. But uh, should we see something, we'll uh, let you know. We'll have a few posts uh, later today on SNS Storm Chasers and on meteorologist Joe Top, Joe, JoeChoffey.com and on WeatherLongIsland.com. So don't forget to use all three sites for all your la latest weather information.